So here's one of those videos you don't really want to touch with a 10 foot pole because it's like, if you do, you get people who hated The Last Jedi and they're going to be like, yeah, we hate him, rallying. And then you're going to get people who loved it and they're like, oh, you're all just haters and toxic. And it's just, as a YouTuber, it's, it's tough because it's like any any content I make to do with Episode 8, Ray, Ryan Johnson, anything of those sorts, it's just a, a cluster of mixed emotions from both sides of the fandom and i love both of you guys you know you guys love star wars and i love star wars and at the end of the day that's really all i look at i'm not here to discuss the polar opposites here i'm here to discuss my point of view on it and the information that we've been given the information is that ryan johnson's trilogy is a go it's happening and we've now found out through rumors and and uh, himself that episode nine is obviously going to end the skywalker saga skywalker story and his story his trilogy is going to take place after it how soon after it i don't know it's also not going to cover much of jedi at all really it's also not going to not going to cover lightsabers and things like that and fighting um so it's going to cover something else now what does this mean really it's all theory and speculation which is the name of the channel so thanks for joining if we're not covering jedi we're not covering fighting and things like that then we're going into character development and we're going to see worlds and things that we have never seen before in Star Wars. So for me, yeah, it could be interesting. It could not be interesting. I don't know. You all know my position on The Last Jedi. I'm not here to spew that. But at the end of the day, you know, it is his, his track record. But to be fair to him, I got to say, he was trying to create something that had a very tightly knit lore with 40 years of backstory. This new trilogy that he's going to create is a clean slate. And he basically gets to play in the sand as he wants. He doesn't have to make anything, um, you know, to the blueprints and schematics of 40 years before him. He can make whatever he likes and call it whatever he wants. And no one can say otherwise because it's, there's nothing before it really. Unless, of course, he's pulling from lore and then, of course, you know, kind of back to phase one. But in this story, apparently, we are going to, wherever it takes place, after episode nine, which we know that. It's going to cover users who aren't necessarily Jedi. So it could be the Yuuzhan Vong. Now the Yuuzhan Vong were these really cool species. They were very, very malevolent. And they wiped out races and galaxies and generations. And just, they were, they were killers. They were immune to the Force. That means you can't use the Force on them. They were really cool like that. And they just looked disgusting. They looked just very evil. <laughs> and uh, there were a lot of run-ins with, you know, in, with Luke and them and and legends and things like that and they were cool characters very cool story now he could pull from them he could pull from snoke and go into snoke's backstory and snoke species that's also a possibility but i want to see him do something that doesn't have any tie-in with any lore of star wars because that's it's sensitive you know you can't mess that up you got to get it just right um it's like if you're making a darth vader fan film you got to get that just right because Darth Vader is such an iconic character. Star Wars is such an iconic story. One little sliver of something, you know, like out of place or out of line, everyone's going to notice. Fans are going to notice because this is ingrained in our, in our souls, in our DNA. For over 40 years, Star Wars is that important to so many people. So he's got a clean slate. He's going to create whatever he wants. So I'm, I'm unexpected. I don't know what to expect. You know, it could be great. It could not be great. Um, for me, The Last Jedi wasn't the hottest thing that came to theaters. Um, I was hoping it would be something much more than it was, but there are a lot of people who absolutely loved it, and that's great. But for me, it it didn't it didn't light my pants on fire. If that's an expression, it didn't it didn't do it for me. So that being said, to be fair to Ryan Johnson, he's creating a new trilogy that's going to be his own thing and his own slate and his own characters and his own worlds things we've never seen in Star Wars. So really it's, he's just creating, he's just doing his own thing, man. Like it's, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm, it's another thing of Star Wars that we're getting. And I, I think it's, we'll see, you know, we'll see at the end of the day. So I want to know what you guys think right now. What do you think in the comments? Um, try to keep it cordial. I know we're all very emotional over episode eight, but I think episode nine is going to blow all our expectations out of the water. At least I'm hoping. Cross the fingers. I think it's going to be awesome. So bring Aiden back, please. Just do it.
So let me know right now in the comments what you think uh, about this, about Ryan Johnson's trilogy, about everything going forwards. If you loved The Last Jedi, if you didn't like The Last Jedi, why you loved it, why you didn't like it, let's open a dialogue. I think we can all cordially speak with one another as Star Wars fans at the end of the day. <laughs> Hopefully. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Now, fulfill.